Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to look into conditional control. So to understand the conditional control, let's jump into the Power Automate portal. So guys, I am inside the Power Automate portal and I am inside the same example which we have been following since many sessions. In our last session, we have seen the trigger condition where we have applied the trigger condition. And with the trigger condition, we are able to stop the execution or say we are able to top the trigger whenever any wrong file gets uploaded this is perfectly fine but for this example i have a scenario where i want that my flow gets execute in case of wrong file upload but i want that the flow should intimate the user regarding the wrong file upload so to implement such scenario we can't take any action inside the trigger condition because it is just a condition to check that the flow should execute or not in case of true false condition if it is true the flow gets executed if it is false it will not get executed but for our current scenario i want that the flow should intimate the user for the wrong file upload so to implement this i am going to use the conditional control so for that i am going to take this condition out from this place and what i will do i will remove this one and i will go back over here and create a compose operation first so let me write compose over here and within this compose i am going to write the same formula which i have written and this time i come here remove the add the rate sign and click on ok now this will return me true and false now next i will use the conditional control that is if else so over here i will come i will click on this plus icon add an action and over here you will see that condition control i will select this one then you will see that it is giving me two blocks one is if the condition is true then this portion gets executed if the condition is false then this will gets executed and over here i will use the compose operation which i have written over here so i will write the output over here if this is true so i will write over here if it is equal to true then this will execute the logic so what logic i will tell you so first i will grab this application context variable on top of it and then in the condition of if block application logic over here so that in case of true condition this block gets executed i will take this one as well over here and i will take this one as well over here and i will make sure that this is going to be the parallel block so to add a parallel block i will come over here first i will make a copy of it and i will come over here add a parallel branch and over here i will add this this one so once it is being done i will delete this catch block as it is not needed okay and make sure that i will rename the name over here else it will throw an error so in case of true condition everything remains same whatever we were doing earlier the only difference is that it will execute through this yes block that is the true condition now in case if user uploaded the wrong file it should intimate the person about the wrong upload so for that i am going to copy this post message in chat or channel and i will use this action over here so that in case if it gets failed i will intimate the person who is uploading the file and over here what that is what i am doing i am grabbing the created by field from the get data from the uploaded actual and that is falling over here so we need to do some changes over here what i will do i will take out this step and i will put it over here so now i am having this thing available over here so that in case of wrong file upload it will intimate that you have uploaded wrong file so i will change the message i will tell that you have loaded wrong file and over here i will bold it and uh, i will increase the size also then i will go up and over here in the condition over here you should make sure that you are specifying the expression true over here because you are comparing true versus true we have make an expression with the help of this expression we come to know that let me click on true first over here and over here in this expression if you will look into that what we are checking we are checking that uploaded file is xlx or not if it is xlx then only it will go to the if block because both the conditions are true over here and if it is not an xlx so that means this other document and it will execute this one this is one of the condition i have checked you can put many condition over here 
with the help of add a row if you will add a row over here then you can add additional condition for the sake of simplicity i am keeping it very much simple you can add that whether the document xlx document is a employee award document or not that condition you can also apply but over here to show the capability of the conditional control that the reason i am showing it over here so now i am done with the implementation so now what will happen when i run the positive test case where i will upload the excel file with the employee quarterly award data it will upload to the document library and data gets pushed to the sharepoint list but in case if we upload the docx file or say document file or any other file apart from xlx file it will execute this no block and where we will get the teams message or say teams chat inside our teams where it will tell that you have uploaded wrong file so let's do one thing let's save it and i will run the negative test case where i will upload the docx file and then we will look into whether this piece of code or this block of code is getting executed or not and we are getting the message or not so let's do it i will i came back to the document library and i will delete this one and i will re-upload it so i will delete this file and i will come over here click on upload files over here and i will go to the my file over here so i will come over here this is my testing negative case and i will open this one and this time my expectation is my flow will trigger and it will give me the teams chat where it will say that you have uploaded wrong file so let's wait for the execution of the power automate flow so let's go back to the power automate portal to verify that whether flow execution gets started or not so i came back to the power automate portal i will go to the run history and it look like it haven't started yet and you will see that now it executed let's go inside and over here we will look into how it gets executed and you will see that it haven't executed this block it has executed the no block so that means we will get the message so let's jump into the teams and see that what we got so guys i am inside the teams and you will see it over here it has sent a message that you have uploaded the wrong file and this is what i wanted to demonstrate you in this session and i hope you understand the significance of the conditional control so guys whenever if you are having any condition if you want to check then you can use the conditional control and this example i just use it to demonstrate you how to use the conditional control so that you can understand that in what scenario you should use the conditional control and this is one of the example i have implemented in one of my project and this is one of the smaller version of that particular feature you can implement many of the condition over here like if any person is uploading the excel file but it is not having the employee award data so that is also not a valid case so you can check for the correct name that also you can implement over here you can have the nested condition over here so what i mean to say that if you are having a conditional control within that conditional control you can have another conditional control and you can check some of the nested conditions one thing you should note that whenever you are using the nested condition you should make sure that don't breach the eight level of nesting so that means if your scenario is very complex and if you are using multi-level of nesting condition don't breach the eight level of nesting if you will breach it your power automate program will not save and it will throw an error so in that scenario you have to use the if expressions so if you have complex logic you can use the combination of conditional control as well as if expressions so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care